Welcome everyone to today's edition of Burnt Coffee Sucks. My name is Steve and I'll be your host for this video atrocity. We have a lot of things to cover today, so let's start off with what's new in the news. The manhunt continues for a former LAPD police officer who shot a couple of people and wrote a huge manifesto on how he was treated badly while he was a part of the LAPD. But, in recent news, the LAPD has announced that they're going to reinvestigate the case that actually got him fired. So, all in all, I think this was successful for him. I don't think he went, you know, the right route in getting the firing reinvestigated, but it looks like he's getting what he wants. I noticed that a lot of the news agencies are using his full name now, Christopher Jordan Dorner, which is usually reserved for serial killers. Now, I did some research on this, actually. I was kind of bored and curious. Serial killers, the definition of serial killer is killing three or more people, which technically he's done, but it's in a span of over a month. Usually they have some kind of pause in between where they cool down and plan their next murder. Another thing with serial killers is they usually don't do it for revenge. In this case, it was because he was fired, or he believes he was wrongfully fired, by the LAPD. So according to the definition, he would actually be considered a spree killer because he's you know, killed a lot of people in rapid succession and he actually had a cause behind it. And no other spree killers have ever actually had their full name like this, all three names. Usually it's just one right after the other. So, in that case, if you want more information on the Christopher Dorner case, I have a link down below and tell me what you think about it. Now also, this is crazy. A couple in Arkansas got two scratchers one day after the other. First they got a one million dollar scratcher ticket and they won the million dollars. So they thought, no, oh, we may as well try our luck. Went in the next day, got a $250,000 scratch ticket and won $50,000 for that. So in one weekend, they got $1,050,000. I could never have that kind of luck. And speaking of luck, that actually gets us into our next topic, Sports Savvy Update. Many of you may have already seen this, but a Notre Dame senior, he was a student, not a basketball player, won $18,000 from a half-court shot. Now, that's another thing that I certainly would not be able to do. I've always been horrible at basketball. That's why I wrestled in high school to do my three sports. But you can search Google for uh, college game day half-court shot, or you can just click the link down below, and you can see the video for it. Now, to get the techie topic out of the day, apparently Tamagotchis... I remember my sister had one when I was growing up. It was a little bit um, after my time. I wasn't really into them. But if you remember, it was a little little pet. Actually, I'm probably going to put a picture right here. It was a, a little pet on a keychain that you had to feed and clean up its crap and play with and all these sorts of things. But now they have it for phones, for smartphones. It's an app that you can get on there. And apparently it's the biggest craze with the teens these days and the preteens because they obviously didn't have those in the 90s when we were growing up. So if you're a parent out there and your kid has a smartphone, I don't know why they would, but if they do, do not let them get the Tamagotchi app. It'll ruin their lives, it's highly addictive, they'll flunk their schoolwork, they'll end up working on the streets, selling drugs or selling themselves. Don't let them do this. Now moving on, in TV time, I said I would never talk about this guy on my show because I'm completely against him. Justin Bieber was on Saturday Night Live last night. Now, I didn't watch it, and I'm not going to watch it. I actually can't understand why so many people like him and why he's such a big craze out there. He looks like a combination of Vanilla Ice and someone from New Kids on the Block. I'm really not sure what's going on with his hair. Now, why does he feel the need to push up his sleeves with everything he wears? Like, I can understand button-up shirts like what I'm wearing right now. Sleeves rolled up, that's fine. But leather jackets and sports coats, it just doesn't seem to gel with me. Now again, I don't really have any fashion sense, so I have no authority on that topic. And I actually feel sorry for him because I think he's going to have a lot of issues when he grows up and he realizes that he's spent his whole childhood being a huge media puppet. Now I think that's all I have for today. Everything I've talked about, I have links for down below if you want to click on them so that way you don't have to search for them. If you have any comments about anything that I've spoken about today or you have any comments about whatever, Please leave comments down below. I'm always up for a good conversation, argument. If you don't agree with me, that's great. I actually prefer 
that you put your opinion out there so I can have a good discussion with you. Again, I'm on Twitter. My name is at Burnt Sucks. You can go ahead and follow me, talk to me. I really don't care, but I am really into a good conversation. Check out my blog at burntcoffeesucks.blogspot.com. You'll see that address again in a second. Whenever I don't have time to make a video, but I do want to talk about some news that's out there, often I will do a normal blog post, and I invite you all to visit that, comment, just the same as on here. But that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching Burnt Coffee Sucks. Thank you for letting me take you on this great ride that is my Sunday afternoon while my wife sleeps. Thank you for watching and have a good next week. Uh-huh. <laughs>